Hey, ni hao, Chef Tang. Today we are going to make the marinated tenderloin. Special request from Amanda. So I thought I went to the store, look around. I found this pickling spice, and uh, they included uh, cinnamon allspice, mustard seed, uh, the white. Uh, ground pepper, coriander, bay leaf, ginger, chili pepper, cloves, black pepper, and mace, and cardamom. A pack of spices, a lot of flavor. So I just ground it with my coffee grind grinder, look like that. And additionally, I'm gonna add some sesame oil, saoshin cooking wine, ground black pepper, and some parsley garlic and kosher salt usually the um you seasonally for the traditional roast beef they use like thyme oregano basil rosemary and sage but this is something different so we're gonna uh show you how to make it and then uh now we're gonna trim the tenderloin i had a beautiful piece of tenderloin it's about four and a half pounds and what I usually like to do is uh, you want to uh, get them uh, almost to the room temperature and then you trim up some of the excess fat and I already trimmed some from the back and still have a little bit here left just trim it off and then also I want to show you is this uh, silver skin this is a very tough skin you need to take it out so what I like to do is usually I will just um, use a, like a paring knife, very sharp. You just uh, stick it to bleed, bleed the underneath the silver skin, like that, and then you can just easily get it out like this way. You want to try to take the skin out without cutting off the meat. Because you see, that's how you do it. And then because you want to uh, keep as much meat as possible. But this skin, silver skin is very tough. Okay, this one, particularly this uh, piece of tenderloin got a lot of silver skin. Like this. And take your time. See a little piece in the here. Just, just. Here we go. And I only need to cook about close to three pounds. So the other two pounds, I can uh, cut it, uh, separate it and put it uh, away and I can use it for other recipe. You can always uh, grill and make sandwich out of it or you can do stir fry. The more left here, see, that's a beautiful piece. And then I'm gonna, uh, I just need about three pounds. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to uh, marinate it. After you're done trimming the tenderloin, I'm going to marinate the meat. I got some saoshing cooking wine and some sesame oil. Just apply the meat like this and give them a quick brush. And then I uh, mix in all the dry spices ingredient. I'm just going to Sprinkle on the top like this, generously a lot, like this. And we're gonna do like a full side. I'm gonna give them some uh, ground pepper. And uh, kosher salt. And then we just kind of get them a lightly pat down, pat it down. So we got the sesame oil and the wine. And then after you press down all the spices, and then you flip over and do the other three sides. I use a frying pan, medium high heat. I just add a little bit of cooking oil, vegetable cooking oil. And we're going to uh, brown the tenderloin. Probably uh, three minutes on each side. And tenderloin is a very uh, lean, uh, not fatty uh, meat, so 
I want to put a little oil in the pan. Or if you want to use uh, like uh, butter with the rosemary, and just give them a bath through, which is good too. And uh, I preheat my oven to 400. And uh, after we uh, brown on all sizes, and then we're gonna uh, set it into the oven. Okay, now it's about four minutes. We're gonna give them a quick flip. Nice, beautiful brownish color. I like it. Ah, oh, smells so good. All the spices. And here we're gonna do the same thing, medium high heat. Um, the scissor sound I like is hot enough to brown the meat. And uh, we're gonna uh, set it up for another about four minutes. And then the other both side, I probably just do like two, two and a half minutes. It's good enough before we can put it into the oven. Now I'm just gonna give them a quick sear on both sides. Oh, looks so good. I can see all the uh, spices, the dry herb. Give them a little caramelized. Smell amazing now. This side just gonna do for like uh, maybe uh, two and a half minutes on each side. Now the four sides in uh, nice brown sear. This is my pretty side. And then the oven is ready. I'm gonna put it into the oven for 20 minutes until I reach the temperature in the meat about 120, between 120 to 125 degrees. Now the temperature read inside the tenderloin just got done from the oven is 125. This is good. I'm gonna let them rest for 10 minutes. And at the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. We're going to make the sauce. I got butter, shallot, and uh, fine chopped onion in. Going to uh, stir for like a couple minutes with medium heat. Get them a nice uh, aromatic and caramelize the onion and shallot a little bit. Add in some ginger and garlic. Just keep stirring for a couple minutes. After a couple minutes, I tend to medium high heat. I'm gonna add in this Madeira wine. It's good for making the sauce for tenderloin. It's from Spain. Really nice flavor. Oh, almost smell like a homemade Chinese wine. <laughs> Ooh, little flame at home. That's why I don't want to use a high heat, you know. All right, little mushroom. Shiitake mushroom, morale mushroom, any mushroom that you like. I love shiitake mushroom. Just gonna mix it up for like a minute to two. Then we add in the beef stock. Oh yeah. Have a quick stir. Gently bring up the sauce to a boil. Now the sauce bring up to a boil. I see some uh, foamy on the top here. You just skim up a little bit. That's probably from the onion and the butter. A little bit of mushroom, it's okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some soy sauce in. One, two. Get them a quick stir. Some ground black pepper. And we're just gonna let the sauce uh, low heat cook for like a few minutes. Just control your temperature. Give it a quick taste. A little bit more soy sauce. This should be good. After a few minutes cooking the sauce like this, I get them.